In this video, we're going to demonstrate the figure eight method of measuring hand volume as originally described by Mayheffer and others in 2003 and subsequently adopted by the American Society of Hand Therapists uh, as the official way of doing this. There are a couple different ways uh, that have been described to do a figure eight method of measuring hand volume, but this is the method that the American Society of Hand Therapists has adopted. So what we'll do here is we're gonna start at the radial volar aspect of the wrist with our measuring tape. And we want to align the distal edge of the measuring tape with the distal wrist crease. The distal wrist crease is defined as the wrist crease that crosses both abductor pollicis longus and flexor carpi ulnaris. So it looks like it's this guy right along here. So we're just going to set that down about there. And then from the radial aspect, go ulnarly, again, staying just proximal to that distal wrist crease with our tape. Once we've crossed uh, flexor carpi ulnaris, we're going to take that and we're going to go obliquely and distally, kind of an X across the back of the hand there, until we reach the second metacarpal and we'll go kind of right through the midpoint of the second metacarpal head so that when we bring our tape across the palm, we are just on the proximal edge of that uh, palmar digital crease. We're gonna bring this across the palm to the small finger palmar digital crease then. Again, bring it obliquely and proximally across the back of the hand. So we come back to about where we started and cross the abductor pollicis longus tendon again. Once we're there, we'll line our tape up with our zero point where we started. And once we've uh, done that, uh, you just hold it snug. You don't have to pull it really tight. You don't want to squeeze any volume out of the hand because that will alter your measurement. But now you can see that once we snug it up a little bit, our measurement is about 39.5 centimeters.